So those are some uh, improvements in the short term that we hope will help out a little bit with developer productivity. Another one is what's called the content component, and this is in 2.5 already. And uh, this allows you to do inline HTML. So this is kind of a big topic that I, uh, a discussion point I've been having with a lot of quality student developers. And um, that's that whole discussion about being able to mix in HTML more with KRAD, possibly even embed KRAD components within the HTML versus the other way around. Okay. Um, so, you know, this is instead of having to go through and create a custom template uh, with FreeMarker, this will give you the ability to put the HTML right in with the view, with the spring view definition. So this is called the content component. So you can put any HTML you want in this, and it does support the expressions the same as the other components, the server size spring expressions. So an example of this, uh, remember this is in a view, uh, so I can have my regular KRAD components, but here in this one spot of the page, I need something custom. KRAD doesn't provide anything for this. So instead of creating a component or a template, I can use the content component, the content tag, and put the HTML within it right there. And then, as you see here, if there's the expressions, it'll get evaluated just like anything else. Okay. So conceivably, so, you could make some add script tags in here, too? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could put any HTML you could put there, so you need to start taking advantage of client-side scripts and so forth. So this is in 2.4? This is in 2.5. 2.5, okay. Yeah. And then, and then, can I put UIF components inside there? Also that, that's the next thing I'm going to get to. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So this is here now. So you know, you can stick that HTML on that one spot or bigger sections. It's up to you. You know, uh, once you start having this this power, well, let me go back and I'll wait on that. This is in labs. Uh, I say labs because. Um, this is really just a concept, but it's a concept I verified that we can do um, after talking with, again, the quality student developers. And the first thing here is taking that content tag with HTML and embedded KRAC components within that. Okay? So I have a, just a div, and I have my general comment, uh, content here, text, and then I have a KRAD input field within the HTML. Okay? Uh, some more text, and then a KRAD component. All right. So, again, this is conceptual, but I do think there's a possibility. And this is, we're looking at short term right now. Okay, this is something we could do without a lot of work. Um, so, it's really flipping things. You know, if you start going down this route, KRAD's no longer control. Your HTML's in control. All right. Um, so that's a, a concept that we could get started on really soon and, and hopefully have without too much uh, delay. So this, this content component with the embedded components, um, you could use that just in, like you did the content itself in a particular place. Like you, maybe you just want to use it where you have some specific needs. But you could use it at a group level or you can decide to do your entire view that way. Okay, so if you wanted to use make your entire view HTML with KRAD embedded, you can do that. So that's the concept with that. Kind of a double-edged sword over here. Like when KRAD is providing all the markup, you know it's going to be syntactically correct. But when you're mixing and matching, there's not much you can do. Is there anything you can do like with HTML tidy or something? Or um, so you make sure that that your uh, custom HTML you're putting is yeah. syntactically. Yeah, you have to know what the templates produce. You know what I mean? Yeah. Potentially, um, most of uh, <coughs> most of our templates like fields and stuff, they have a div and they have the content within it. So um, I don't think you could really mess. Um, Mess up the, you know, you know, syntax. The inner syn components. Right, right. Yeah, but still, you know, yeah, yeah you have to kind of be familiar with what that's, that component's going to produce, I think, a little bit. Yeah, it, this is uh, a whole new thing, a whole new way of using KRAD. And um, when, we, when I get through this, I want to talk about some of the concerns I have, some of the things you want to think about. 
Um, and of course, you know, with the HTML, I already said that you can enhance that with client side uh, JavaScript. Uh, in particular, we're going to be looking at AngularJS and, and um, providing that support out of the box. Um, so it's already there. You can use it with your HTML, but also building in some things with our components. That's something we've been looking at for quite a while. Um, so no, no plans to get started on that right now, but that's something we've been looking at. But you can go ahead and add that at a project level or, or anything else you want to and use that.